So I just want to do a quick video on the Toyota 2E valve adjustment. This is a procedure that you need to do every 20,000 kilometers or so. And basically it just sets the valve clearance between the cam lobe and the actual pusher, pushing the valve down. And the reason why you want to do this is because these can change depending on how much your valve wears. You can actually reduce or increase the clearance. You can either get a noisy valve train if your clearance is too great or you can have issues where you burn valve seats and burn out valves and have low compression if your valve clearance is too small. It shows here that operating temperature clearance is 0.2 millimeters. So that means that the engine has to be hot, so you have to run it up to full operating temperature before you proceed with this adjustment. Both intake and exhaust cam lobes need to be set at 0.2 millimeters. So just a quick wee overview on how we adjust the clearance. We have the engine at top dead center with cylinder number one in its firing position and you'll have six cam lobes on this camshaft that are pointing off the lifter so there's clearance so we're going to set all six of those in one go and then we're going to rotate the crank 360 degrees and then we can do the other six cam lobes and here's an illustration on where your feeler gauge goes so i'll show you on the actual engine how this works so here is my engine, it's sitting on the floor at the moment so I can't run this but we're just going to pretend that this is in the car and I have ran it up to full operating temperature quickly shut it off and I've pulled the valve cover open so this is basically what we have so we can rotate the engine using the crank pulley just a 19mm on the crank bolt and you can rotate it until these lobes are all up in the air so this is basically cylinder number one at top dead centre and by doing that, these three rockers here are loose so you can slip a feeler gauge in there. Obviously the cam lobes that are pointing down such as this one here or these two here you can't adjust but if you have a look all the cam lobes that are pointing upwards away from the rocker you can adjust these so we have six of them so we can adjust all of these valves here. So to adjust these valves we need to slacken off this lock nut so we use a spanner now that is loose get a screwdriver and we can loosen this and then we're going to get our 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge and we're going to simply slide it in there so at the moment there's quite a bit of clearance so what I can do is I can put the screwdriver into the adjustment screw and I can very slowly rotate that until you start to feel some resistance so right there is about where I feel the screw start to tighten up so I've got the feeler gauge basically clamped. If you can't move the feeler gauge, you'll need to loosen it just a wee bit. So you can slip the feeler gauge in and out nicely. So that's pretty good. We need to tighten this lock nut down so we can wind it all up. Put our spanner back on. And before we tighten, we need to make sure that that screw maintains its position. So we're gonna hold the screwdriver firmly, making sure that the adjustment screw doesn't, doesn't rotate. And then we're going to gently lock up this lock nut here and we can pull this out and put it in our next valve so at the moment i can't get that in so same again we're going to loosen this back the screw off and then we can slide our feeler gauge in there we're going to very gently tighten this up until we feel a little bit of resistance Back it off just a wee smidge and make sure that the feeler gauge moves nicely, which it does. You want to feel a little bit of drag, you don't want it sloppy. And then we're going to retighten that. So we put the spanner on, hold the screw with the screwdriver, and then we lock that nut down. So we can do this with one, two, three, four, five, and six valves here. Once we have those all set, we're going to rotate the engine. So to set the other six valves, we need to rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, so the camshaft rotates 180. So with a 19mm on the crank pulley. So there we are, so we can adjust this, 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 and this. So once we have adjusted all 12 of our valves, just go around and check these lock nuts are all tight. When you tighten these, you want to make sure that they're a little bit tighter than snug, but you don't want to be cranking on these. If you do crank on them, you can actually pop the rocker out of the socket, and uh, that's not good. You can also strip the threads, which is definitely not good. 
there's actually no talk spec for these, so just apply a little bit of common sense, but I just usually sort of nip them up and just give them a little bit more. When you've got everything all ready to assemble, just make sure you put a little bit of RTV in the corners here, and also over on this side, and that will just help the uh, rocker cover gasket seal. Once you get the car back together, you can take it for a drive. So you may notice that the engine is a little bit smoother and a little bit quieter. All the valve clearances are now the same, so the valve lift should be all even across the board. So that results in a smoother idle. You also have less clearance between the actual cam lobe and the rocker. If your clearance was excessive, you get that tapping, clicking sound, and the engine can sound a bit like a sewing machine at idle. So a few things just worthy of note. When you tighten these up, just make sure you use a spanner and a screwdriver. Try not to use a socket set because as you tighten this with a socket set, the screw can actually rotate with the nut and your clearance can change, so you want to avoid that. So that's pretty much how I set these up. I'm pretty much just following the way Toyota recommends, and I just wanted to put this video out there just to sort of clear things up a bit. Unfortunately, there is a bit of misinformation on the internet, and I have seen on forums and a few other sites people basically saying that you adjust them cold and adjust them to different clearances and whatnot as to what Toyota recommend. I don't recommend this, just do it the way they suggest because I've had good luck in the past. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. The other thing you want to bear in mind is because this is done hot, you want to make sure that you work pretty quickly because as the engine temperature will cool, you can have different clearances between valves which can cause issue. So make sure you do this reasonably quickly, maybe within 10 minutes and you should be okay. And just follow the uh, recommended method and you'll be fine. Thank you for watching.